Was there something else, Kindred? A most unfortunate crossing of paths. Let me assure you that my agents, the Chang brothers, speak with no diplomatic authority. I may or may not choose to speak with you, the Prince, or anyone else for that matter. Speaking does not make us allies. What can I help you with? Ah yes, the Hengeokai. Zigena, I believe his name was. I had nearly forgotten him. He announced his presence in our domain, and I granted him permission to operate. He does not act on my behalf, however, I can assure you. I believe he said he operates an importing business and entertains clients at the Red Dragon. What can I help you with? There is much Kindred have to learn about our ways. I'm crazy! You don't want to know what we do to you. The hell I care. Five hundred up front, another five hundred after the deal. No questions asked or I walk. My pardons, you looked like someone who might have some interest in my product. Actually, you'd be surprised at the variety of people who fit that profile. No, and I would rather you did not suggest such a thing. He is a business associate, not one I enjoy dealing with, either. No. Anyone else? This would not be an issue. But him? No, I'm sorry. You're going to have to ask somebody else. I understand, but you do not understand the consequences. Perhaps if I knew your reasons, I'd feel more at ease about divulging that information. Can you elaborate? <coughs> then I cannot help you. Please go. Can you elaborate? Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. If that's your goal, I'd be willing to help arrange a meeting with him. I was supposed to meet him at the fish market tonight. You go in my place, but if you do, I hope your intentions are serious. He is also a very serious man.
still awake? Something on your mind? Give me a call. Conbonwa. Demon. Asked to speak to the cute one. Dogaliska. Where? Human race going crazy, or is it just me? Seems like all you. You want to kill Hengeokai with me? Anybody feel? Why? Feel like the world's cracking at the seams? Why don't we make that the topic for tonight? And if that doesn't work, you can all go back to. Wakarimashita. Fish market de ikemas. See you there, demon. So tell me, is society going to hell or not? I think so, Jeb. And why is that? Welcome back!
<laughs> You're both here, my hunter and my target. This is very convenient. <laughs> Surprise. Ogami Yuki Edes, I return you to hell. Guy is in hell. My revenge is complete. Domo arigato gozaimashita, demon. Defy your nature, demon. Man can suffer without your help. Sayonara.
With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred. Especially older ones. Until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel, right under our noses here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? What? What did you find out? A key? Where? Do you have it? <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates.
Here. <laughs> Pity you don't have his head. I would have sent it to the Inquisitor General. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. And another thing. You've been attracting a lot of attention to yourself. Mortal attention. But I'm going to overlook it for now. But keep breaking the masquerade, and I guarantee you'll never break it again. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. What did Johansson have to say? A Syrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Mezarach, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Mezarach and the Lamastu myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Excellent. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Excellent. Hmm, I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? 
that you wouldn't know that Dracula, the fictional vampire of movie fame, was very real. His real name was Vlad Tepes, and he was a Jemisi, though he was not Sabat. By some accounts, he still lives into these nights. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Gotcha. It's a nice night out, huh? 